Alright guys, I have a bad habit of switching phones frequently but it's also good in a way that I can test out different smartphones so I can give you my honest review of the phone that I'm using. So here's my new daily driver, the Motorola P30 No. It's also known as Android Power One. It's Motorola's first Android One certified smartphone and I recently came to know about its existence. They launched three different variants of this phone but I'm gonna talk about this unit which is in my usage from the last week. This phone has some extra weight to it and that's because it has 5000 mAh battery under the hood. Its body is made from aluminium and it feels pretty solid. I saw many people complaining about its resemblance with the iPhone X but it's unfair to criticize its design as it looks and feels pretty good. Up top it has a 3mm headphone jack which is always a good sight these days. On the bottom it has USB Type-C port and a decent quality speaker which is powered by Dolby Audio. The fingerprint scanner is located on the back of the phone under the Motorola dimple which looks sober. It has 6.2 inches big FHD plus resolution IPS LCD panel which is nearly perfect mid-range category screen. And it's the first Motorola phone to adopt the notch strength, the colors are so natural and the brightness is also good. But it has this screen bleeding issue on the bottom of the screen which annoys a lot on the dark portions. First I thought it's a problem with my unit only but sadly it's a manufacturing defect. It has 4GB of RAM and Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 chipset which is used by many mid-range smartphones these days. The gaming performance is decent, it handles day-to-day -day tasks well with some lag here and there but it doesn't affect the overall experience. It's also Motorola's first proper Android One certified smartphone so the software experience is clean and minimal. It doesn't have any bloatware app which is always a good sign. The battery life on this phone is incredible. It's packed with 5000 mAh battery and in my usage I never ran out of battery with this phone. It can easily last up to 2 days of heavy usage which you won't find any flagship phone. Also it can be juiced up very quickly which is very good. This phone has 16 megapixels primary shooter with aperture f1.8 plus 5 megapixel depth sensor and 12 megapixel f2.0 sensor for the selfies. In broad daylight, its rear camera captures very good photos, colors and exposure are well balanced but the bokeh effect that it offers is one of the worst I have seen on any smartphone. Also just like other mid-range phones, P30 struggles to take a good photo in night which is acceptable because it's not a high-end flagship phone and for the price which is around $230 it performs reasonably well. The selfie shooter is also decent under natural lightning condition and it also has front facing flash that's hidden under the black tint which is a good touch by Motorola. So that's pretty much it. If you have any question or request of a phone review then let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.